Hey travelers, welcome to the largest traveler community in Europe. If you're like us, you've probably wondered how to stay connected online when traveling. Today, I'm going to share how to have internet access in Colombia. So how do you get internet on your trip to Colombia? Whether you're traveling for vacation or for work, if you're looking for the best way to connect to the internet during your trip to Colombia and you want to be online the moment that you step off the plane, whether it's to let your family know that you've arrived or to call for an Uber or to use Google Maps to find your hotel, we here at Passporter want to share our experience with what we consider is the most practical and the most cost-effective option. We're talking about eSIMs or virtual SIM cards. Stay tuned because in this video we'll cover what's an eSIM, how does it work, and what are its benefits, which companies offer this service, which is the best option and how to use it, and what other options are there if your phone isn't eSIM compatible. What is an eSIM, how does it work, and what are its benefits? Well, unlike traditional SIM cards, an eSIM allows us to have internet access without needing to remove our normal day-to-day -day SIM card. Some of the benefits include being available for purchase from anywhere in the world. You can buy it before you leave on your trip and receive it instantly in your email so that when you arrive at your destination, you'll be ready to go. Ease of setup. Setting it up is quick and easy. You'll receive a QR code in your email, which lets you install the eSIM instantly. Price. It has more competitive prices compared to other options like roaming or pocket Wi-Fi. And like I mentioned before, you don't need to swap out the current SIM card in your phone, avoiding issues with your WhatsApp number. As you can see, eSIMs are, for us, the best solution for internet access when traveling. So let's move on to which companies offer this service and which of those is the best option. Companies like Olafly, Aerolu, Truephone, and UVG all provide eSIM service, but before purchasing, it's essential to take into account which one best fits your need. We at Passporter consider the following the most important factors to keep in mind when choosing your eSIM provider. The duration of your plan, how long you'll be traveling for, whether support in your language is included, if they have an app to help manage your data plan, the gigabytes offered per plan, preferably unlimited. And last but not least, price and which currencies you can pay in. All right, if you're wondering how do I calculate the amount of data that I'll need for my trip to Colombia, don't worry, we're here to help. In this table here, you can see the data consumption of popular apps that you might use, and you can use this as a guide and compare it with what it says on your data usage settings on your phone. Once you know how much data you need, you can use this table here that compares each eSIM brand and the services that they provide to choose the best fit for your trip to Colombia. As you can see, price and plan duration time range depending on the company. And while most of them allow you to share data, not many of them offer unlimited data. In fact, from the ones shown here, only Olafly offers unlimited data, which is why we at Passporter consider it the best option. They also offer personalized and human customer service and many plan options, whereas other companies are a bit more limited. Some, like Truphone or UVG, require you to choose between one day or 30 day plans, even though you might only be traveling for 15, which means you're losing out on days and money. Others offer a limited amount of data, like Aerolu, which only offers you a maximum of five gigabytes, which isn't nearly enough. Why we choose Olafly and how can you use it? As an international community of travelers who require great internet connection during our travels, we at Passporter always choose Olafly for our internet needs in Colombia for the following five reasons. Number one, they offer unlimited data in Colombia and in many other countries. Number two, they have flexible plans depending on your trip duration and destination. In Colombia, for example, you have five different plan options that you can choose from, not to mention the multi-destination plans that they offer. Olafly has a Latin American plan that includes data in countries like Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, Brazil, Ecuador, El Salvador, Guatemala, 
Honduras, Nicaragua, Peru, Costa Rica, Paraguay, Puerto Rico, Uruguay, and of course, Colombia, so that you can hop from one country to the next without needing to switch eSIMs. Number three, their 24 seven customer service, which is available in multiple languages, such as Spanish, English, German, French, Italian, and even Japanese. They also offer support through chat and WhatsApp, and they reply within a minute, which for me is what really sets them apart. Whenever we have any questions or if something ever comes up, being able to speak to someone as opposed to a bot really helps. Number four, they offer various currency options for payment like the Euro, the American, Canadian and Australian dollar, the Mexican peso, the sterling pound, the yen and more. And number five, with over 20 million reviews and a 4.7 star rating, they are the highest rated company on Trustpilot. I mean, after so many travel experiences, we've concluded that Olafly offers the best value for money. If you want to give them a try, you can use our discount code PASSPORTER and get 5% off of your purchase. But before you do that, make sure that your phone is eSIM compatible. Don't worry to help you with that. I've left a list of compatible phones down in the description. Installing Olafly's eSIM is super straightforward and it's available on both iOS and on Android. We do recommend installing it before traveling since you'll need internet access to do this, but you can always install it on your phone and then you can wait to activate it once you arrive at your destination. To install Olafly eSIM on iOS devices, simply make your purchase from their website. You'll then receive an email with a QR code Scan this code with your iOS device and it'll redirect you to your phone settings. Once the eSIM is installed, you need to select if you want to use it for travel or for work. And just like that, it'll be ready to be used. You can also install the eSIM manually without needing a computer. Just write the code that you received in the email in the settings of your cell phone. You can also check for this code in their app, which by the way, is a very convenient way to control the duration of your data plan. To install the Olafly eSIM in Android, please note that the process may vary a bit depending on the model of your Android phone, but it should be pretty similar to what I'm about to show you. First, we'll go to settings, then click on connections, choose SIM card manager, add mobile card, and scan the QR. Once you scan it, it'll be installed. Now, if your phone isn't eSIM compatible and you're wondering, how can I get internet in Colombia? There are other methods. You can use roaming. Most, if not all phone network companies offer this, but at an average price of between seven and 12 euros per 100 megabytes, we rank it as the most expensive option. You can use pocket Wi-Fi. However, it's important to keep in mind that you'll need to pay for the internet plan, the cost of renting the equipment, insurance and shipping costs. Not to mention that it's a more uncomfortable option in terms of portability and its battery is usually limited to about six hours. These are also for long-term contracts usually, but it is an option that allows you to share internet. Now you might be tempted to forgo getting any data plan altogether, since in Colombia you'll find free Wi-Fi hotspots in airports, cafes, hotels, and even restaurants. However, it's important to keep in mind that these networks are vulnerable to hackers, which is why we personally recommend limiting your use of these to only when it's absolutely necessary and to avoid at all costs, carrying out transactions where your personal data could be at risk. Anyway, there you have it. This is our experience with connectivity in Colombia. We hope that as a community of travelers, that this will help you in traveling.